How's it going guys? Nathan from Nathan's DIY Garage and today we're working on an E39. Um, we've had this E39 in here before. This is when we did the dry shaft carry bearing on and it has another problem. Another problem was that when you put gas in it and you try to put over half a tank or even some gas in it, it would run out all over the ground. Uh, so we suspect something happened to the uh, to the filler, to the rubber inlet. Uh, so we just went in and pulled the inner fender wheel out of the rear, out of the passenger rear. And I'm going to show you what I found out. All right, so here we are. We have the inner fender wheel out. A lot of the bolts were rusted out of it. Um, they had two actual bolts in it. They were rusted off. The rest were push pins. It might go back in there and not fall down, but I don't know. So what we have here, we have inner fender wheel out. We have a rubber tube going down to the tank, or not rubber, it's plastic. So immediately we thought there was a problem here, but there's actually not a problem there. So as we go up here and look, we see a couple problems. We see the rubber's falling out of the out of the strut. That's not too big of a deal. And we see the clamp, and we have a piece of rubber hose that goes up to here, and the bottom clamp is rusted off. So obviously whenever you put fuel in it, it's going to run out on the ground and what it was doing is running out you know like right here right at the back of uh, wheel arch so we're pretty sure that's what the problem is we're going to go ahead and replace this whole rubber piece i think because it's awfully soft and we'll get a piece of i got some radiator hoses here we'll try to fit something up here put some new clamps on it uh we're not going to know for sure if that fixed it until we put some more fuel in it but we're pretty much 99 percent sure at this point it's going to fix it now the other possibility is is something with the transfer pump isn't working uh where it won't transfer from this side to the other side it don't seem like that's what the problem is so i doubt that's it i'm pretty sure all of our problems right here all right so it should be probably a 15 minute job of course like everything else it's 15 minutes to do the job and about an hour looking for the right hose clamps for it as many hose clamps we have here, you think we'd have pretty much anything you need, but uh, apparently I don't. So what we have, we have the Toyota squeeze clamp, because obviously there's not another one here that fits that. And we have another clamp on top, you can see that or not, maybe. There you go. And we clamp down good. And you can actually see on this, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, you can see where the fuel is actually running down and running down and running off the, the bottom of the tank there. So. That being said, as long as the transfer pump is transferring, which I'm pretty sure it is, this should fix the problem. These are pretty common uh, for the hose to be rotted off and the clamps to be missing, stuff like that. Especially in a cold climate where you're driving a lot and uh, corrosive conditions, you might say. But that's it. So this is the uh, leaky fuel spout fix on the BMW E39. Thanks for watching.